What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. Today, I want to talk about what you can expect from ASO, especially for a new app launch. Now, I just got back from an amazing retreat in Venice Beach that we just hosted 10 amazing app founders where we got to really break down each other's businesses and give feedback and really grow together. So if you want to come to any of these retreats, make sure you sign up for the email newsletter. And I'll tell you when the next one's coming, because we're going to Spain, we're going to New York, and we're going to be in San Francisco, obviously, because that's where I'm at. When you think about ASO for a brand new app, I found that on iOS, it's a lot easier to drive organic downloads using some of the hacks and some of the tricks that I've shared on this channel. So if you optimize the keywords properly, if you do the keyword research, if you find the ones that have high traffic and low competition, well, you're going to rank really well for these keywords and you're going to drive a lot of app downloads. Now on the flip side for Google Play, what I found is it's a lot more difficult to drive downloads purely from organic searches. For Google, what you typically have to do is run some paid ads on it so that you can start driving the download volume, getting the reviews, and then the keyword optimization will start kicking in. If you think about Google and the Google web search, the same principle applies. For a brand new website, you're not gonna get that organic traffic. You're gonna consistently have to create new content. You're gonna consistently have to build backlinks. You're gonna have to show Google that you're a legitimate website and not just here to spam. And it's the same thing for Google Play. Keyword optimization is only gonna take you so far. And frankly, it won't do too much in terms of driving downloads for a brand new app. You're gonna to have to show Google that you can drive downloads from elsewhere, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's your other apps, whatever it is that you're gonna use, you're gonna to have to show them that you can consistently drive downloads through other mediums. And with the right metrics in place, in terms of crash reports, in terms of retention, and getting the right reviews, the right organic, non-incentivized reviews, then you'll slowly start building up steam so that it can continue to drive more and more traffic. Now, what I've heard from others in the space is that Google can be a tremendous source for organic downloads. It just takes time. Whereas iOS, you don't need time. Keyword optimization will get you to a good starting point. From a downloads perspective, here's what I found on iOS. I can get new apps to get anywhere from 50 to 100 to 200 downloads from organic searches. Now, Google Play, it's a lot harder. Sometimes I'm not able to get any downloads from organic searches, and we need to utilize paid acquisition channels to really drive those downloads. iOS, not a problem on Google Play a bit of a problem. So we need a little bit of paid acquisition to give us a little boost. All right, guys, hope that was helpful as you start planning out your new apps and the marketing campaigns that you have planned for your new apps, depending on whatever platform you choose to launch first. Lastly, if you got any questions for me, make sure you leave a comment below and make sure to share our channel with some of your friends if you found any value from this channel. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Check out the top video if you want to see how App Store reviews impact your keyword rankings. And click the bottom video if you want to see ASO described in SEO terms.